Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Hemendra. In this video, we will see how to create a post API for sending data to Google Sheets. I am using a language called AppScript for creating this API and we will test this API in Postman. Now let's get started. So this is our Google Sheet. In our last video, we have seen how to read this data. So please check that out if you haven't already. Now we are going to add now we are going to add data to this Google Sheet. So for writing the code, we uh, we just have to click on this tool and tools and then open the script editor. Yeah, so I'm going to remove this and it is very simple to create a post API. So we can do it in four simple steps. Okay, the first step is to access the spreadsheet here in the code. And the second step is to create a do post method uh, for handling the incoming request. And the third step is to create an add user method so that we can add data to spreadsheet. And the fourth step is returning the status to the end user or whoever is requested. So these are the four simple steps. Now we'll just take a look in the documentation. Okay. So this is what the documentation says. A script can be published as a web app if it meet meets these requirements okay the first requirement is it contains a do get or do post function so they are saying it should have either a do get or do post function so that the script can handle incoming requests and the second requirement is the function should return a html output or text output so the function has to return either of these outputs okay so these are the two requirements to create a web app okay now let's write the code the first step so step one is to access the spreadsheet so for that i'm going to write var workbook equal to spreadsheet app dot open by url so we are accessing the spreadsheet by its url okay or the entire workbook by its URL okay so how do you gonna get this URL is you just have to click on the share and if you wanted to change the permissions to this document you can change it here okay if you wanted to make viewer commenter or editor so you can do it according to your requirement and you can copy this link or you can copy the link from here so I'm pasting this link over here and now this url is for this entire workbook now we have lot of sheets or we can have lot of sheets in this one workbook so if you wanted to access this particular sheet you have to uh, access it by its name for that what i'm doing is sheet equal to workbook dot get sheet by name and provide the sheet name so my sheet name is sheet one so, so the step one is done now the step two step two is to create a do post function according to the documentation so function do post and this function is expecting us to pass a parameter called e right so this e is going to contain the incoming data okay so now we have to access the incoming query parameter for that i'm creating a variable called action to store the query parameter so to access the query parameter we have to use e dot parameter dot whatever the query parameter name that we have provided so we just have to provide it over here so action so if you wanted more clarity on this e this object so you can refer the documentation so here they have provided the complete description so e dot query string e dot parameter so we can access all these content from this object please check that out so now i have read my uh, incoming query parameter the next step is to check if 
like we can do multiple things uh, from the incoming request right so to check whether uh, which request is made by the user okay so for that what i'm doing is if the action is equal to add user then we have to return this particular method called add user and this is also accepting or expecting an argument called e okay so now this step two is also done the third step is to create this add user function so we haven't provided implementation for this function yet so i'm going to create one now okay so function add user of e so now what we are going to do is we are going to read the incoming body from the api so for reading that body what we have to do is i'm going to create a variable where so since it's a user data i am naming my variable as user where user equal to so json dot parse okay incoming request will be coming in the json format so whenever you got the data in json format you have to convert it into uh, the normal format or the app script objects so you just have to deserialize the data that you are getting from the end user so for, that is the reason i am using json.parse function to deserialize the data json.parse and if you wanted to read the body of the api request so again we can look, take a look at the documentation so as we can see we can use e dot post data dot contents so we can use this particular notation to access the body of the incoming request so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to put it over here so this is going to contain contain the data that i'm going to parse and i'm storing it into a variable called user now this user variable is having the actual body that is sent by the user now now it is very simple we just have to append this data to the sheet okay so we already have sheet with us sheet dot append row we just have to append this information to the sheet okay so in our sheet we have four columns right name age mobile and email so now i we have to provide four parameters over here okay so in an array so the first parameter is user dot name and then user dot age and then user dot mobile and the last one is user dot email so now we are successfully appended the data to the sheet the fourth step is to return this status whether the their request is success or fail succeeded or failed so we just have to inform to the user back right so that is the reason the last step is to update the stator uh, update the user the status okay so now we have to return uh, the like the status right context content service dot so as per the documentation we can use create text output or create html output so i am using create text output and the output i am going to send is success and we have to set the mime type so set mime type and the mime type is text because i am sending the simple text so what i am going to do is content service dot mime type dot so we we can have lot of types so i'm just selecting the text type so now we are done with the implementation part so right so now i'm going to save this file and we just have to deploy this okay so now i'm creating a new deployment or yeah before that we'll just run this once and it will pop up for reviewing the permissions so we'll review the permissions so this is the most important step yeah so after reviewing the permissions then only your script will run otherwise it won't run
yeah so now we are done with permissions now we just have to deploy this script as a web app create new deployment and select this gear icon and select this web app so here you can just give add user you can give any description related to your api and then here you can change in whose context the app should be executed so i'm just giving it to anyone and the context is mine okay and i'm just deploying it so once you deploy you're gonna get endpoint url so you just have to copy this endpoint url okay so now we are successfully completed the creation of api now let's test it in the postman right so as we all know postman is a rest client that is used for api testing right so this is the api that we have created in the yesterday's video now uh, i'm creating a new request and i'm pasting the url over here and remember to change don't forget to change uh, this particular http request type to post because we are sending data and the http method should be post okay so this is the endpoint url now we have to provide the query parameter action equal to add user okay and the body we have to provide the data that we wanted to add right uh, to the google sheet we have to provide it over here select the json type right so i'm going to create a json object so that i can send data to the google sheet so here the keys that i'm providing over here should match with the keys that we have provided over here so whatever the keys we have provided over here the name age mobile and the email so these keys should match with the keys that we are using in the api request body okay so i have used a key called the name and the name i'm going to give is himendra and then i'm going to use something called age so age i'm going to give it as 24 and the third parameter is its mobile so the mobile number i'm going to give is uh, something like this and the last one is email so that that is it right now let's click on the send button so that we can send this data to google sheet and see what happens yes as you can see the request is success now go back to the google sheet and check whether the data is created or not okay see as we can see the data is successfully created so as you can see whatever the data we have sent here so is there in the google sheet now check with one more request in the real time okay so i'll do it side by side right so here i have i'm providing one more name that is this and then the name is this and so here i'm providing some random email address so now let's send this data so as you can see as soon as i hit the send so it is succeeded and the data got created okay so that is it for this video and it is very simple to create this and we can uh, use it in any uh, client so we can create a mobile app or we can create a web app or we can create a desktop app and we can consume these apis in those client side applications so uh, thank you for watching this video please hit like button and please subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching